There we go. Wait, bear. That's it. Good girl. Do we have jigs for tomorrow? We should probably buy some. Go. Okay. You okay. You don't I, mean, to go? I feel like I have a broad answer. You can, Will you just say it first and I'll add to it. Okay. Oh, that's a fun fact. Yeah. So we're twins. Um, but even... <laughs> obviously. <laughs> even more... <laughs> Even more. We catch up with the Gale Forest twins, Amanda, Emily. Welcome back to the show. We saw you this morning, and it looks like the weather's still holding true. Making the transition from the option was medical school or the fishing industry. There definitely was a leap of faith there, and I think we both knew we wanted to be in the fishing industry, but we weren't 100% sure where or how. And that started with working on charter boats, eventually running our own charter business. But we knew the whole time that we didn't want to be full-time charter captains. We actually were those neighborhood kids that we would get all the neighbors together, we would write scripts, and we would pass them out. We would have a video camera, and we would basically film movies, movies in our backyard. Which, like, we would film, like, The Wizard of Oz with our friends. Or, like, we would film pirate, we would have pirate We had a pirate movie, movie that we would film with the neighborhood <laughs> kids. But it's always been something that's been part of our, our lives, and when we look back, it's kind of funny to think that some fun little hobby we had, we've now been able to have a career out of. And yeah. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi everyone. My name's Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel. My name's Amanda. My name is Emily. Welcome to our channel. My name is Emily. Oh, actually, why don't you go turn around and show all the fun? All right. So we have. Uh, where is everybody? Our, oh, they're over here. We didn't really come from a fishing family, which surprises most people. For our 13th birthday, our request to our parents was to send us on a fishing charter. We wanted to fish with somebody that would teach us how to fish. We Not didn't just hook in hand and hand the rod to us. Right. Really. Our mom found a captain that was like, I'll have to teach them everything. From there, it was just kind of a hobby that we did kind of every year as a family in the summer, maybe for our birthday or for a holiday, but it was never a full-time thing until college. And then when we were in college, that's when we decided to get a job on sport fish. In college, we were getting microbiology degrees. We were student athletes. So having really busy schedules, we were really burnt out. And our summer between our junior and senior year, we said, you know what, we need to do something fun, different, and just change it up. So we decided to work on a sport fish for a summer, thinking nothing more of it other than the fact that it was just going to be a really awesome summer, a great experience and we absolutely fell in love with it. So the plan was to continue working on the sport fish for a year post-college, and then it really snowballed into a lot more than that. Yeah! Have your fish! Everybody was kind of like, where is this gonna go? Where Can you take make you? a full-time living doing this? You know, is this... Are you going to be roughing it your whole life? That kind of thing. And My name's Amanda, Emily's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Our first few years after graduating college, it was the first three captains we worked for that really shaped us into the captains we are today. I definitely feel really grateful for the mentors that we had. When I look back, we had really incredible captains that we were able to work for. But it was all on-the-job training. But I think it does motivate us to teach the people that do want to learn, whether we do it through our YouTube videos or our Facebook videos or wherever it is that they like to watch. College was actually where we really realized how large the industry was and that you could have a full-time job and you could have a great life being a fisherman or a charter business owner or um, you know now we're creating content on YouTube full-time which at the time we had no idea was a real career choice and a path but we kind of learned it was as we went. Something that was really important to us for who we are as people and our viewers is to always be very very authentic and invincible outside of what we do for a living outside of our business. If someone asked me what boat I wanted, I would have picked an invincible. Like it was designed for fishing. When we ran to Bimini, the amount of fuel we were able to put into the boat, we were able to fill up in the US, run to Bimini, 
fish over there for five days. five days and run back and we never had to fill up because of how much fuel the boat had. So it's made for fishing, it's made for those long runs. Whether you're going to the Bahamas or the Tortugas or Pulley Ridge, that's what the boat's made for and that's kind of, that's what we love about it and that's, that's the kind of fishing that we do. So if someone's into fishing, we want them to think, oh, Gale Force, they have a great catalog of episodes where we can learn and they have a collection of rods and I think the goal is to reach as many people as possible and to really show that you don't have to come from a fishing background or a boating background to get into it because we didn't. Other people in the industry maybe mentioned to us like you have degrees like why on earth are you fishing for a living? Like, right we've actually no sense. even had captains tell us you people do this because they have to not because they want to especially in the charter industry and we were like no we want to be here. And a lot of people didn't understand that though. You have a great college education, why aren't you? You have a pre-med degree, go to medical school, go, go do something like that. And we just, no, we want to be here, we want to do this. So it's just something that I think has carried us our whole lives, really, that mentality of just putting your mind to it and knowing that people are probably going to try to push you back and you just kind of got to keep going forward. Who catches more fish depends on what we're targeting, right? Like if we're slow pitch digging in Pulley Ridge, you're gonna catch, gonna more. catch more. But if we're bait fishing, who's gonna catch more? Right, she likes that better. But it's more like just cause she likes it better. I like it better so I put more time into it so I'm better at feeling the bites. And then she's more than happy to sit there and slow pitch dig up and down a hundred times. Whereas my, I'm like, this is, I'm tired. <laughs> We're very equally competitive. I was going to say I was more competitive. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I... Why do you think you're more competitive? I don't know. I feel like I... I feel like I am. <laughs> I don't know.